Okay, so where is that silver? We know about the tetrahedrite. Where's the silver? More tetrahedrite. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, large. Okay, I've seen the large before. Very large. Oh, now that's getting nice. That's getting nice. So, oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, and there's more of it up there. Oh, I walked right by it. Yeah, because I came. Where did I come out of? Oh, where did? I, oh, here, down here. Yeah, came out of here. Oh yeah, because I saw the tetrahedrite and I completely missed the silver. <laughs> walked right by it. Oh, I guess I was worried about mobs. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Now I have silver. Don't need it yet, but it will come in handy later when we're trying to make alloys. Ow! Well, that was dumb. Yeah. Yeah. You should know better than that, Maya. Oh, well. Uh, it just means that the rockfall did a bunch of mining for me, right? Oh uh, yeah, extends up into there. Cool. Oh, bear check to make sure, see if my tunnel collapsed on me. This is the way home. It's uh, about 400, no I don't need that anymore. It's about 400 meters away. Okay, not too bad here. And I hadn't gone very far in this direction anyway. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Whee, some nice holes though for me to fall in if I'm not careful. Yeah, okay, so up here it isn't so bad. Big mess down there, but I don't really need to clean it up. I mean, it always bothers me. I mean, you know, the anal retentive in me wants to clean it all up. But it doesn't need to be cleaned up. Well, let's grab a bit more of this stuff. Grab a bit more silver just so we have a nice little collection of it when we go back. Yeah, I'm probably just bringing you guys in partway through here since it's normally not interesting to sit here and just watch me mine. But this is uh, more tetrahedrite, I guess. Yeah. But this is one of my uh, one of my radial or cardinal direction tunnels, as I call them. Uh, coming out from the uh, nexus point directly underneath my house. So I'm just expanding it. Hoping to find something interesting. What I'm really looking for is graphite. Oh, did I? Have I not? Oh, I'm getting this confused with one of my other. I'm looking for graphite and kaolinite, actually. I have another world that I'm playing in just on my own every now and then for amusement. For shits and giggles, as they say. And in that one, I recently found kaolinite and then drowned. But uh, this one, I don't, I haven't even found the kaolinite yet. So yeah, so what I really hope to find is kaolinite and graphite, because we'll need those to build a blast furnace, which will then finally let us make steel. Okay. But, uh, so while it's nice to find the silver here, it's, uh, we won't need it for a little while yet. I just want to have a little something to take back from my expedition here. Yeah, I'm mostly in graphite here, so I'm just trying to drill. Oh, I, I'm really talking about my tunnel back up there, so let me finish up here. Yeah, my tunnel. Yeah, hard to see. You can see one torch sitting there, but my tunnel, which is running back through there, um, 
is currently running through this granite. And granite's pretty good for finding silver, and lo and behold, here we have some silver and granite. But it does not contain kaolinite or graphite. So I'm basically was just trying to hammer my way through it. In the hopes of getting to something a little more amenable to what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, there's more under there. Anyway, okay, so let's go. Cool. That's enough. How much do I have? Ah, that's good enough now. All right, well, you know, if anything else interesting happens, I'll bring you guys in, but I'm not going to do too much more of this before <clears throat> going back upstairs and finding something a little more entertaining to do. I just do this every now and then to, you know, advance my tunnels a little bit further. All right, see you, see you in a bit. Hey there, my knife here again. A um, couple of episodes ago when I first built this, or built up the chimney here, I said at the time that I wasn't really happy with it and asked for suggestions. Well, uh, viewer Alexa Kayo, sorry, Alexana Kayo, uh, made the suggestion that rather than build it out, which is what I was doing here, is that I should instead trim it back a bit. So I think we're going to give that a try. So let's strip off all this crap that I put on it last time. Which I didn't really end up liking anyway. So that's no loss. Okay. I was going to say, it's nice to see the chicken enjoying my bridge, but actually he's bumping into it. Okay, so what we want to do... See, I can't just... Well, I'll show you what I'm going to do first on the uh, on one of the higher-up blocks. To show you what a bit of the problem is here. Go into slab mode. And take out one, two, three, four, five, and six for now. Yeah. Okay, now if I do the same thing to this bottom block here, um, it's going to open up a hole here in the roof. And I can't fill that hole in with, uh, with planks because it's either a, you know, if this is Minecraft, you can't put multiple different types of materials into the same one meter block. So it's going to be a stone block that's trimmed back with nothing else in it. So I can't just do that, but what I can do is I can put the chisel into detailed mode and basically carve out, you know, kind of a stepped piece of stone here. So I'll do that, just not right now. Just I want to get a feel for things first. Two, three. Uh, Alexan also suggested that I uh, that I remove the top layer, that the chimney was too high. So that, that may be true, but I don't want to do that quite yet. So. Um. Hmm. Can I do this by shift moving? Ooh, looks like I can. Oh, except if I have shift, it's not going to work. Okay, so I got to put some kind of a block in here first. Uh, let's go do this from the bridge. I can't reach that from here. Okay, well that'll close automatically for me. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's... If I bring it down to two, slabs are just too thick. So let's ignore this base stuff here. Oh yeah, that does look, yeah. Yeah, that does look a lot better. I don't know if I should take the top one off, though. Yeah, actually, I think she's right. I assume it's a she from the name. If you're not a she, Alexana, my apologies. I should have said Z, just to keep it safe. But yeah, I think you're right. It's a little bit over out of scale with the rest of it. And let's see now. If I take it back to one, it's going to come down to one here. No, I can still carve it out, so that'll be fine. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to do the detailed carvings on these uh, off camera and then I'll bring it back in when I'm done so you can see the finished product. Well, I'm almost done. Um, I thought I'd bring you back in as I trim down this last block uh, because a couple of people have told me that uh, they'd like to see me see at least some of the detailed work and some of the grunge work and grunt work that I usually try and do off camera that they'd actually like to see some of that going on so that, uh, you know, they can get a feel for it, which is fine. Ooh, I need to drink first. So, I'll bring in on this one. This one should be uh, one of the faster ones. Uh, you can see here that at this back end, the block is already level with this plank here. So, that's at the right height, but we have to trim the rest of it down a bit. So, ooh, <laughs> I don't think my... Uh, I don't think my chisel is gonna last. Anyway, so we gotta take these six off here, and then six off in the next course, and do that all the way back. Yeah, doing this detailed, <coughs> doing this detailed chiseling really uh, does a number on the durability of your uh, chisel. All right, so now we've got this down. We've got the top of the block, or this level of the block down level with this second uh, uh, second set of planks. So now we just have to cut these four down to the next level. Okay, and then do the same thing to cut these down. Ah, made it. Ah, the chisel made it through. Excellent. And let's... We don't need this guy anymore. Yeah, so what does it look like from up here? Well, the upright part portion looks good. Uh, it looks like a pretty nice little chimney. I mean, it's not fancy or decorative, but it at least, I guess what Alexana was trying to accomplish was it looks right in proportion to the building now, which is really nice. Uh, the stone doesn't look right here, the step stone, but like I say, there's not a whole lot we can do about that because, uh, because of the limitations of what we can combine, the materials that we can combine together in a single block. Where'd that block go? Go pick it up. Come on. Whee. And from the ground it'll look even better because we won't be able to see most of the, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks a lot better. Well, thank you, Alexana. That was an excellent suggestion. I am now much happier with the chimney on the building. Very good. Uh, another thing, which we can probably see if I come back here, or I don't know if any more have come in. Oh, yeah, a couple more have come in. His lemon tree is now blooming. We're into spring now, or are we? Oh no, we're actually, oh, late summer. 
Oh, good lord. I was down there mining longer than I thought. Okay. Uh, what do we have? So we pick up a few of our lemons here. Late summer. That was August? Yeah, so the rest of these guys still have to come in. So we'll see. We'll see if we get olives. I still want to see olives out of this tree. <laughs> Haven't seen that yet. And I got a bunch of stuff to do here. Um, but I had something more interesting I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, I've got a bowl. How many bowls? Oh, I have got bowls here. Okay. I wanted to show you panning and sluicing. Um, so for panning, you have to take your a bowl. You just put it in your inventory and that gives you a gold pan. For sluices, we need some planks and some sticks. Oh, do we have a lot of, oh, we have a lot of birch. Excellent. Grab some sticks. And looks like that. I only want five of them, though. No. Okay. So you have a triangle of planks, and then you line the diagonal with sticks, and it can obviously face the other way if you want, and that will give you a sluice. And so I want five sluices. Just because I, I don't know, just usually find that that's about the speed I can go at. I'm going to need a... Uh, Bucket? No, I don't need a bucket. I just need a shovel. And I have a shovel on me. Sue, so, let's go outside. And I have prepared an area. <laughs> or cleared an area, I guess. That's as much preparation as I did here. Okay. Now, the first thing I'll show you is the panning. And it's not going to be too exciting because panning currently doesn't work. But I'll show you what it was supposed to be. So what you would do is you would take your gold pan in hand. And then you would uh, see this is gravel here. Uh, we don't have any sand around. Eh, so just have to demonstrate with gravel. And you click on it. And I don't know if you can notice that the, uh, the pan that I'm holding my hand and the one in my hot bar has changed, the icon has changed a bit because it's now filled with gravel. And you would then, you you then slush it, yeah, see, you can see the icon. You then slush it in some running water. And the running water would wash away all the gravel and sometimes it would leave behind a gem or a piece of iron ore. But like I say, right now that isn't working. So why am I showing this to you? Because there is something else the gold pan can be used for, and we'll get to that shortly. So let's just set him aside. Oh, night is falling. Let's quickly hop into bed, and then we can get back to this. So to use a sluice, yeah, I got to run a, some water back until it stops. There we go. And then you dig out three more. This goes down one level further. This goes down two levels. Oh, there's clay in there. I might as well grab it. Might as well grab it. Okay. And then you put the sluice in. And the trick here is you have to be facing in the direction that the water's flowing and then place it on these two upper blocks like that. And there's a sluice. Now, um... What you can do with the sluice is, uh, we'll come over here, grab some gravel, uh, that should be enough for a demonstration I think. Hey, chicken. Okay, so I right-click on the sluice. You'll see it says it has no soil in it right now. Zero of 50 soil, 
What it means by soil is actually gravel or sand. Don't try throwing dirt into it, it won't do any good. So for each block of gravel or sand that I throw into it, that's uh, 20, I think. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown, I should only have thrown two in. Um, so it took 20 of the for each of the first two blocks and then only took 10 out of the last block that I threw into it. So anyways, you can see it's going through here and it's, it's uh, washing them down through the sluice, looking to see if it finds any gems or any ore. So while it runs, we'll dig out the next one. Do, do, do. And uh, the way you throw the ore, or the way you put the gravel or the sand in, is you toss the block just into the water, just above it, and it washes in and floats in. Sometimes you can toss it in on top, but I found that every now and then, you, if you toss it on top, it just sits there and twirls around, does nothing. So he's now working on his. Let's see how he, let's see if this guy's found anything. Nothing yet. He's not ready for us to toss in more yet. So let's come back here and do number three. And this is why I like to have five of them, because they take a while to do their work. So five of them will do it five times as fast. Okay. Next loose. Give him a couple to start working on. Okay, so we come all the way over here. This guy is probably ready for some more. Oh yeah, he's easily ready for another one, at least. What about this guy? Uh, he's ready for another one. And it's a little disturbing that they haven't detected any yet. It's going to be annoying if there's nothing here. Yeah, he's ready for another one. Ah, well, this guy found something. Flawed Jasper gem, at least. Hoping for ore, since ore is generally more useful. Man, this guy's ready for another one. Okay, so the way these guys work is the sluice scans an area below it. Um, for, let's see if I can remember, I think it's uh, 120 blocks in each direction or, or side around all the sides. So left to right and front to back. And I think it goes down about 50 blocks, something like that. <clears throat> so it's a huge area that it scans. So it's like having a, to some degree, it's like having a pro pick with a massive range on it. Um, and that, and any ores it finds in that area, it's possible for you to find very, find you know, pick up small deposits of it in the sluice. So if in that big area found, say, some cassiterite and some uh, copper, then you could get small copper nuggets and small, uh, small cassiterite ores. The same, the, the same size as the ones you get when you pick up, when you pick them up from rocks. So where that can be handy is when when you're first when you're trying to find one of these service deposits, especially at the very start when you're just trying to get your first copper or whatever, and you pick up a couple of stones and you find oh here we get one here small sphalerite, so we know there's sphalerite in the area somewhere. So let's say I had found just a couple of sphalerite, and you know but I still don't have my uh, I, you know I still don't have a pick so I can't go hunting for it and, and digging down for it but I want more sphalerite for whatever reason. Really, it's going to be copper that you'd want at that stage. But let, let's assume that you're after Svalerite. Um, and I picked up all the stones in the area, and it only gave me five of the small Svalerite, and that's not enough to make an ingot or do anything else with. Or, again, let's say it's copper. You know, I need at least uh, at least ten to make an ingot, copper ingot. Well, then you can throw a sluice down in the area, or a couple of sluice down the area, and just keep throwing gravel and sand into it until you get you know, get enough of these small guys to make up for what you could find. So the sluice can be useful in that way if, you know, you've basically, 
you've grabbed all the surface stones in the area that you can and you still don't have enough to get your first couple of ingots. So now, as I said, you can throw in, whoops, no, it's not you I want, it's the, there we go. You can throw in either gravel or sand. Uh, gravel gives you a slightly higher chance of finding ore and a lower chance of finding gems. Sand is the other way around. You get a slightly higher chance of finding gems, lower chance of finding ore. Okay. All right, now, where does the gold pan come into this? Well, as you saw, I picked up a block of gravel. I dug it up with my shovel and I threw it in here and that gave me 20 units. So let's look for one of these guys that's tapped out. This guy here, I think is, this one's probably tapped out by now too. He's almost tapped out. Let's watch his last two. See, you gonna get anything, anything, even a gem? Come on, something, 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 something. No, nothing. Okay, so he's got nothing in him. So we can go and we click on this gravel with our pan. Okay, we've got some gravel now. Notice the block, gra <laughs> the, the gravel block is still there. Well, we can empty the uh, the pan into the sluice and we get seven. That fills up seven soil, so that's not as good as 20, but we can come back to the same, whoops, the same block again. And that's another seven. So that's 14 plus the three it's already gone through. Same block again. Well, now we're up to 21. We only got 20 of it when we carried the full block, or there we get another one. We've gotten 28 out of that one block of gravel. 35. Ooh, we're doing really good here. 42. Uh, what are we up to? 49. <laughs> Ooh, don't want to put any... Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we've... It's gone through enough. 4956. Oh, and it still hasn't. So I actually am doing pretty well off this one thing. Usually by now it would have used it up. So all it is is every time you click the pan in here, there's a percentage chance that it will be the last scoop that you get out of that block, and then that block of gravel or sand will disappear. But that percentage is set up such that if you take it over in a pan, you actually get a lot more out of it than if you just carried the whole block and dumped it in. So instead of just getting 20 on average, you'll get much more than 20 if you carry it in a pan. But obviously it involves a lot more running back and forth. So unless I'm, for some reason, I'm really, really short on gravel, I just don't bother doing it. So anyway, so let's do our final tally. This guy, oh, this is a bug too, is if the sluice runs down to zero when you're not looking at it, then when you finally come over to look at it, it will show the count that you last saw, but you can see it's not running anymore. So I know it's really empty at this point. So same thing here. This one is now empty because it's not moving anymore. Oh, this guy's still right. Oh, that's the one we were dumping all that stuff into. He f yeah, he found nothing. And so all we got out of these guys was one stinking spell right and one weed gem. Not too impressive, but I wasn't expecting much in this area anyway. Now the other place that... Uh, Let's get inside here. <clears throat> so, you know, the as I pointed out, the sluice can be useful in the very beginning game where you're just trying to get those first one or two ingots so you can put together your first pick and pro pick or, you know, or maybe your, your first axe as well. And you haven't been able to find enough in the service stone, so you can use the sluice for that. Great. But because of the way the sluice works, you can sort of abuse it in another way. Now remember that the sluice, it doesn't matter where you got the gravel or the sand from, it's where the sluice is sitting. So if I take gravel from the river here and I throw it into a sluice that's way over there, it's not going to tell me, it's not going to give me ores and gems. Well, who cares about gems? It's not going to give me ores based on over here where I got the gravel from. It's going to give me ores based on where the sluice is. Well, that includes if it's underground. So I can go underground and find a pool of water and there's there's lots of them I've run into already down below I don't know I've got about six different pools of water I've run into 
and I find a pool of water and I dig out the appropriate channels, I lay a sluice in, I come up here, grab a bunch of gravel, I take it in there and start throwing the sluices. Well, the sluices are now going to search that huge area around them for ores. And now admittedly, it's only going to give me the small ones, but it will, but that will tell me that somewhere in that area is that ore. So it gives me a couple of small magnetite. I know, hey, there's magnetite within 100 and 150, 120, I think is, you know, within a, you know, within a radius of 120 uh, horizontally and, and down 50 vertically. Now, most of the time, that's not really worth it um, because, you know, it takes quite a while to dig out the channels and you spend a lot of time throwing the gravel and all that. So it's usually not worth it for if you're just going for stuff that, like I say, uh, hematite, magnetite, limonite. The ores of iron, they're not that rare that it makes it worthwhile. But where it really comes into its own is when you're looking for nickel later on. The ore is called garnierite. It only occurs in one type of stone and it's pretty bloody rare. So then it's nice to, that's what I do is I go and I, if I can find a pool of water or sometimes what I'll do is I'll just dig a hole straight down from the ocean or river to let water flow in. And then I'll set up five sluices down there and take down a bunch of gravel and and run all that gravel through it. And that will let me know whether or not there is any garnierite in that area. And if there isn't, pick up my sluices and move on to another area. And that, that saves me a lot of time and it almost always finds me garnierite. Now the problem with that, or, or I shouldn't say a problem, the limitation of it, I mean, <laughs> if we're already abusing it, we're so <laughs> abusing what uh, sluices were meant to be used for or how they were meant to be used. Uh, but one limitation of that is that it only finds ores. So for example, right now, what I'm looking for most ardently are graphite and uh, kaolinite. And those are minerals, they're not ores. Uh, like like they're, they, they're not metals. Uh, kaolinite is a, uh, basically like a fossilized clay and graphite, well, you know, you've seen them in the paint. That's what stuff that's in your pencils and stuff like that. It's just a uh, carbon. Uh, thin sheets of carbon. Although your pro pick will pick those things up, will say, oh, well, you know, you've got a, you've got a small deposit of graphite nearby. The sluice isn't going to give, isn't going to give them to you. It, if you think about it, it would be like saying, oh, I'm going to go out and pan for charcoal. You know, it's, you know, this, the, the only stuff that survives in, in the rivers, in, in, you know, in the sand and in the gravel are, are very, very hard ores. So you're not going to get you're not going to go, you know, panning for something like graphite or, or kaolinite or something like that. So those I got to find the old fashioned way. But when it comes time that I need nickel to make uh, black steel, I think it is, then you're going to see me pulling out the sluices. So, so that was one interesting little thing I thought I'd show you. Um, what was the other thing? Sluices and panning. Oh, yeah. Uh, the next thing, actually, I should first check to see whether or not we've still got enough time left in this episode. So I will be right back. No, I'm afraid we are out of time. But I hope you'll join me for next episode to see what it was I did have in mind. Thanks for joining me on this one. I'm My Knife. Bye.